Hello and welcome my friend and today I have really fantastic day because I am planning to tell you and give information to this great innovation what I have made and I have really now made great innovation that how to sharp this motor saw, this cutting plate about three to seven times faster than before. And this is really great inno innovation. And now I have tested this my new way and technique about six months and everything works well. And what is this new technique? Because normally when we have this motor saw, if you have ever used this great device, there is always problem that this cutting plate, what is that one? These small cutting plates, they are always bad and dull. And that's this motor saw is useless because if this part is bad, this moving part, this part, then it is really difficult to do anything like cutting woods or locks and wooden parts. And that's we have to sharp this blade and this, uh, this uh, small parts in here. And this is really difficult job, especially with this old way, this file, file tool. This takes time, really lot time. And that's I planned with my engineering skills that we have great device in today's, like this Makita's best in class products, and we have these batteries. Look, and now I have in here standard steel cutting blade, about two millimeters cutting blade, um, and this tool is my advice and is my superior thing when I cut and sharp this my bad motor saw this plate and this is this my fantastic innovation that we can sharp this old and bad motor saws plate in good and almost in maybe excellent condition with this angle grinder and this standard cutting disc. This is the thing. And next I will show that how I do that job and there is only three things what we have to remember. First one is that we have to use that kind of steel vise what compress this plate in well secure position and then second thing is that when we install this our cutting plate in here this plate must to be in just in two two directions first one is this direction and then second one is that shape like two these uh, angles because this motor saws this chain chain plates they are in specific shape but let's look at how I do that and then my friend if you think that this is maybe Nobel Prize uh, this uh, winner winner innovation in technique please support this idea to Nobel Prize this uh, commit and this is like in my mind Nobel Prize in technology and especially motor saw chain blade sharpening okay and let's go to look at how these things happens and please enjoy and comment steel vice is tool where we 
we can insert things between two of these yaws, and when we rotate that, then this area compress or opens. Now I open that, and the thing is that we have to install in this hole, this motor saw, saws this plate, and central area, where is this text, in this way, and now I compress this, my plate in here, and the steel wise is really excellent, because there is so big force in here, it compressed that in, in this way. And now this my motor saw cutting plate is in like air, and it is very tight in here. And this is the second tool what we need, the steel wise or something similar, or somebody who keeps that in, my second assistant keeps that with hands and protective leather clothes. It is also okay, but the steel wise is better. And then when we have installed that in this way, next we have to set up this our this chain, cutting chain in tight position. Look, it must be in that position. Because if this is loosened, loosened means that this now I saw what means loosen. I open these bolts in here. And this is this is important that we set up this plate in tight. In this way. And there is my flathead screwdriver. And in this screw, when I rotate, I can loosen this belt and this chain. This is now too loose look. And that's I have to Fasten this my chain in tight, so tight that I can even move that. If, if this is too tight, then I can't move that chain. Now it's good, excellent. Okay, and then I fasten these bolts in here, these keeping bolts. In that way. Cool. And then we can start to sharp this plate. Okay. And now when everything is ready for this, uh, this uh, sharpening, we have to install and check that how we install this our cutting plate in here that when we sharp these plates that it is right way. It is good that we rotate this our tool in this direction and also in that direction. And let's look that when I start this my job in this plate and I will do it is good to always mark this one plate in yellow and this marker is solid marker what I recommend to you, maker is Sakura, and we can purchase these solid markers from eBay. And this excellent marker that I remember that that I will do all of these plates when I rotate. That this is the thing. Now there is yellow mark, and let's look closer this area. See that there is yellow mark, and this is like marking point. And when I move that in all ways, and it this plate rota rotates in one turn, this yellow mark becomes back in here, and now I know that I have sharp all of these plates. But then we go to look at how I install this my cutting plate, because this is really critical thing. And there, there is really situation that when I start to cut this, I have to install this my cutting plate in just in like 30 degrees like this we can see that there is this movement in same way in here now we can see this is the thing and let's look this area in here because this is so nicely in here in that one cutting technique is only that we have to install this my plate in same way like in this one look that they are in same plane in here in this way and then when I start that I only a little bit keep that in about one or two seconds and I keep this move and this shape similar. And look that this must be 30 degree 
and also that area it is about 30 not not in this way this is bad and then this is bad also but this is right angle and then we check this area that I have to keep this is wrong but this is right in this way okay and then I start this my job and this is easy job and let's look firstly bigger you and in this job we need protective glasses and also hearing protection 3M's protectors okay and I start this my job in start and this one Okay, and now this is the idea how I sharp and let's go to look when I sharp this next next plate in here. I can look this yellow and I say change this direction. In this direction, when I sharp these plates, okay, in here. And another direction also, you can look also in this direction. And now I little bit move that and this is my area. Okay, excellent. Can go to look the result because this is really interesting. And let's go to look how these plates look like. Now we can see these results, what they look like. And when we look this in a very close way, like in that one, we can see that now this is sharp and, and this will cut and this result is good. It is not the excellent but this is so easy and fast to do that that's I can recommend this angle grinder cutting disc sharp sharp sharpening method and this way okay and this is my my information that how to sharp these things and please enjoy and comment if you start to use also the same way and I am really happy and I have in here a couple of these plates to ready. This old one, what I need to sharp look. I have this old dual plates and chains so many. And in that way I can sharp these old chains in very fast. Okay, thank you my friend and see you in next video.